All right. Speaking of strange things and things that leave you going, heh, when Christianity dies, as I said, the corpse does not bury itself. It keeps twitching along doing strange and odd things. And apostate Christianity does apostate things. And so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fire this this up. And uh you, you still got it there? Okay, you here. <laughs> Now, I can't see anything. Uh, I can't see what's on the screen. There's nothing on my monitor anymore, but um, there we go. This is a young Muslim woman. This is called Tajweed. It is the chanting, singing way of reciting the Quran. And she is reciting from Surah Mariam, Surah 19. But if you look around her, she is in St. Mary's Episcopal Cathedral in Glasgow, Scotland. Yeah, she is reciting the Quran in an Episcopalian cathedral. Now, I'll stop it there. What makes this in particularly uh, interesting is that Surah 19 says a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, specifically, beginning with verse 27, and this was part of what she recited. Speaking of Mary and Jesus, then she brought him to her people carrying him. They said, O Mary, you have certainly done a thing unprecedented. O sister of Aaron, your father was not a man of evil, nor was your mother unchaste. In other words, you're not married and you've got a kid. You've done something unprecedented. Uh, so she pointed to him. They said, how can we speak to one who is in the cradle, a child? Jesus says, so just as Jesus speaking from the cradle, indeed, I am the servant of Allah. He has given me the scripture and made me a prophet, and he has made me blessed wherever I am and has enjoined upon me prayer and zakah as long as I remain alive and made me dutiful to my mother, and he has made, not made me a wretched tyrant. And peace is on the on me the day I was born, on the day I will die, and the day I am raised alive. That is Jesus, the son of Mary, the word of truth. Uh, now it's one, it's not wanting to now. Da, 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 da. Uh, the word of truth about which they are in dispute. Then notice she finished up with this verse. It is not befitting for Allah to take a son. Exalted is he. When he decrees an affair, he only says to it, be, and it is. Jesus said, and indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord, so worship him. That is a straight path. Now, we've talked about Surah 19 before. We've, we've addressed these issues. We've, we've talked about um, the utilization of post-canonical sources such as the Arabic infancy gospel, which this, that's where the story about Jesus speaking from the cradle comes from. It's not canonical. Uh, it doesn't come from the first century. Uh, it is a much later story. And we've talked about, and I discuss in my book, the, um, the fact that the Quran utilizes numerous ahistorical sources as if they are historical sources. All these things. But the point is the context here. Um, you're in the cathedral church in Glasgow, which is supposed to be a Christian church. And there's supposed to be something that defines the Christian faith, which historically has been a belief in one God, um, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, not three gods, one being of God shared by three persons, and that Jesus is the incarnate Son of God. I mean, there is no Christianity without this. And so, what are you doing? What, what, what's going on here? These men are in their vestments. They're in the church. This isn't, this isn't an, an interfaith dialogue where you're honestly discussing similarities and differences and how they relate and and making sure there's understanding between communities and trying to keep 
fear and anger and that type of stuff from growing within communities, trying to increase understanding, none of that kind of stuff. This is in a church service. And I would no more, I cannot possibly imagine a believing Muslim and a, a believing Muslim imam and a believing Muslim congregation. I can't imagine any of them ever asking a Christian to come in and lead prayers to Jesus during their worship service. And hence, I can't begin to understand an allegedly Christian church that invites a Muslim in to recite a portion of the Quran that denies the fundamental definitional doctrines of the Christian faith. There is a time for a discussion of those things. They're called debates, they're called dialogues, uh, but not, not in the church and not as a part of the service. What it shows, obviously, um, is that this, these forms, these, these corpses, these, these denominations that have abandoned any type of, of meaningful historical definition of the Christian faith, they don't care if you're denying the deity of Christ or that Jesus was truly the son of God or any of that kind of stuff. It's, it's just all feelings and, and emotions and, and getting together and so on and so forth. And wow. Um, sad. It, 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 you know, you know, you know, it's one, I'm not really sad about these apostate men sitting there. I'm sad for the Muslim lady. She needs a clear understanding, which would only come from a clear testimony of what the gospel is. And here's all these guys in long robes, um, compromising left, right, and center. There you go. There you go. Theology matters. Theology matters.